Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where today I'm here in Portsmouth, down by the harbour. And I must say, it's absolutely beautiful around here. Uh, I've not actually seen any of this. Uh, last time I came to Portsmouth was many, many years ago, way before uh, the tower and all this area around here was constructed. Uh, but yeah, in the sunshine, it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, yes, I'm actually going to be going to the top of the Spinnaker Tower, which as you can see is the wonderful structure just there. Uh, construction started back in 2001. It was completed in 2005 and it's an observation deck what's designed to look uh, like a giant wind sail and it's blowing in the wind here's everybody coming on the boat just behind here as well wonderful very touristy area around here you've got a huge shopping center over at the side uh, that's where i've just parked the car walked out of there and straight down here to the harbor uh, of course you've got the isle of wight which you can see over in the distance and we'll get great views of that uh, from at the top of the tower um, but yeah in terms of the height of it it's actually 560 foot tall uh, the tower just there it doesn't look like it does it but there you go 560 that's all the way to the top of the spire in terms of the observation deck uh, that's around 340 feet so um, you know I'm looking forward to getting up there of course it's nice and clear uh, there's a few clouds about so hopefully they don't come in too much and block the views um, but yeah it should be wonderful really looking forward to it I'm gonna make my way down there now uh, walk around this part of the harbour here uh, over towards the entrance uh, but yeah what a structure and what a really nice area it is I mean uh, when we come down from the tower definitely have a little walk around Portsmouth and uh, gonna have a little look around and see what uh, other sites there is to see uh, but here we go welcome to this vlog here on Adventure Sean and then uh, let's go for a little stroll around towards the entrance and go up the uh, Spinnaker Tower I must say it really is wonderful around here and it's very nicely finished off all around the harbour Look at some of these yachts down here. I mean, when we come back down, we'll have more of a, a look around the area uh, and sort of continue on with the video. Um, but yeah, look at this. Getting a bit closer to the structure now. I believe the entrance is to the right hand side. So we need to head sort of round to the back uh, of the structure, sort of down this way. Uh, to the left there, you've got the waterfront cafe. Um, yeah, we need to be heading round to the right. In terms of prices, it's not too badly priced at all. It's £11.50 uh, to go up to the top there, to the viewing points uh, of the Spinnaker Tower, uh, which I don't think is too bad at all. Uh, and I believe with that, you can also come back later in the day as well. It's not just a matter of you pay uh, once and then you can't come back. If you wanted to, you can come earlier in the day and then say the weather gets better or something if you come on a bit of a gloomy day uh, it means that you can come back later on and go up uh, all in included in the price so I think that's quite good really I mean, let's make our way down this way and uh, go and buy a ticket I've not booked it online or anything I believe it probably is cheaper uh, to book online but as it was a bit of a last minute thing just paying for this one uh, at the entrance so let's go and have a look Watching that little bit of a pre-show, time to head into the elevator to take us to the top. That is 28 seconds to get there. So you don't feel it, but we're actually moving at four meters every second. That's where part of the floor is made of glass, and you have a magnificent view right the way around the city. Opposite side of that deck, there's a flight of stairs going up to the two levels above. Second level is the little cafe or coffee shop, and then right up top is the open-air sky garden. So we have three levels, the main deck, cafe, open air. You can move amongst them as you wish. There we are, enjoy your visit. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go then. So just come out of the lift and here we are at the first observation deck of the Spinnaker Tower. So like I said back at the start of the video, it was completed in 2005. And here we go, fantastic views. Already what I really like about up here is that you've got all the information on the bottom here that points out the direction. Of course, we're pointing east out this way and you've got all the information about the different buildings down the bottom here as well. Like I say, I don't really know much about the area around here. It's actually my first time visiting Portsmouth. I've always wanted to come here, especially since this opened, just to come and see it because it's just a really nice piece of engineering, isn't it? And a landmark. Definitely going to spend a bit of time walking all around here. Looks beautiful. So as the guy mentioned just in the lift, we've got another couple of levels to walk around. 
We access those via the steps, which are just through this way. Sky Garden and the clouds. I'm gonna walk up to the clouds, by me. It's gonna be a long way. <laughs> We've also got these interactive screens as well. This one over here seems to be out of action, but we'll have a look on one of the working ones shortly. It actually feels a lot higher up here than it actually is, to be honest. Lots and lots of information down here about all the different buildings and other things all around the harbour. Number 16, Clarence Pier. You can see down there, let's have a little zoom in. Somewhere that I've not been to for many years. Unfortunately, it's closed today, the ride's over there, but I am hoping to do a video on my other channel on Theme Park Worldwide at some point in the future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Got this ferry just coming out down here as well. I say the rides are closed, it looks like the Ferris wheel was actually going around then. Can't see any uh, other rides in action though. I'll we'll have to check that out, you never know. All these different boats coming in and out. Very, very busy around here in terms of on the water. What a beautiful part of the country. Also here in the middle, we've got a glass floor. Oh wow, look at that. You're not actually allowed your shoes on to go on there, so I'm going to actually leave my shoes at the side in a moment. We'll take a little walk on there. What a beautiful area. I mean, I've always wanted to come around here and have an explore. Gorgeous. Right then, so I've took my shoes off. So sorry about the smell. <laughs> but here we go, here's a little walk on the glass just here. There you go. Really get to appreciate the structure quite a lot from here as well and all the workings of it all and how it was put together. Yeah, it certainly feels a lot taller up here than what it actually is. But look down there, all the shopping centre. Plenty of parking available nearby. I've just gone in a basement car park, which I think is somewhere underneath this shopping centre down here. See all the outdoor seating area and stuff as well. Quite a lot to do around here, really nice area. Like I say, not been around here for many, many years, way before this tower was built. So I've just started to make my way upstairs to look on the other two levels. Bit of a funny place to put these really, because obviously people want to walk up the stairs, but we could have done with putting this in one of the rooms really downstairs. But uh, as you can see here, you've got a few different designs. Uh, and then it says here that the residents of Portsmouth voted for their favorite tower design. And there you go, 60%, so 30,000 people uh, voted for the tower and uh, design that we got today. So of course, the one in the middle just there. Okay, so the clouds is like a restaurant what they've got up here, a little tea room and all the cakes are all on the old fashioned stands and yeah, it looks really nice in there, doesn't it? A uh, nice cafe with a view. Just seeing this fun fact, again, it's on the stairs here, so a bit awkward how they've got all this information on the steps. I think it would have been better at the bottom, like I say, or, or maybe at the top presented somewhere. Uh, but there you go, during high winds, the top of the tower can flex up to 150 millimetres. There you go. What a fantastic design there. I mean, the others look good on, on that, what we saw just on the stairs uh, with some of the other designs put forward. But yeah, there's just something about this one, isn't it? With that <laughs> sail and the whole design of it. Works so well uh, in Portsmouth here. 
Here we go, so welcome to the Sky Garden, which is at the top here of the Spinnaker Tower. Uh, this is the highest point that we can actually go up to, and uh, yeah, I see why they call it the uh, Sky Garden now. Da -da -da -da. Here's the garden! But is it real, or is it fake? It's real, I can confirm that. Um, here we go, look at the view, it's very quiet up here, there's only like two other people up here with me. Uh, it's a very small level this compared to the others just beneath it. And of course that's because we're right near the top of the tower. Uh, but there is still, you know, and of course the spire right at the top there that completes its maximum height. You can see that there, it takes you all the way up. Uh, but yeah, that's of course, this is the highest we can actually get to here. But I assume that's all for like access for um, you know, maintaining the building, that sort of stuff. Uh, but here we go, let's look at the views. Uh, I mean, fantastic looking out towards the uh, Isle of Wight over there uh, that we can see all across the back. And I'll spin you guys round and uh, yeah, put some more shots in of the view here from the top. Very, very nice. Some more shots there looking out over the beautiful views from the top of the Spinnaker Tower uh, all around Portsmouth, the Isle of Wight and the uh, rest of the surrounding area. Here we go, let's have a look in the gift shop. There we are, quite like these, these little ducks. <laughs> Do they quack or not? Oh, oh no, they make a noise if you squeeze them. All these different postcards here as well. Beautiful structure, isn't it? And I'm going to uh, take a little bit of a walk around the area um, and continue on with this video. It's great, isn't it, that? What a gorgeous design. Really nice. It's a shame the sun's not fully shining, but it's better than raining. Really nice, though, isn't it? All fireworks around there as well on the fridge magnet. Here are the bits as well. Oh, a little resin down here as well. Such a nice design building, isn't it? Um, yeah, we're going to head outside. Well, let's continue to have a little walk around the harbour here in Portsmouth. Well, I must say that was a really pleasant experience. I think for £11.50, it's also very good value for what there is on offer there. And the fact that you can spend as long as you want up there as well, if you wanted to, you could go back later on in the day. Um, yeah, I think it's really good value and the views from up there are really good. Like I say, it feels like you're a lot higher uh, than 340 feet. And um, like looking over, like fantastic. You've got the glass floor up there that I didn't even realize was built into the structure. Uh, but ever since it opened in 2005, it's something that's fascinated me. I've wanted to come down here and just see it in person. Person and and even go to the top is even better really just to uh, get them fantastic views um, but yeah it's such a nice area around here got a very chilled relaxed vibe about it as well which is quite nice and uh, yeah the, all the area uh, over to the back just here is known as Old Portsmouth I believe uh, I was going to take a walk around there however um, it seems you've got to walk like all the way uh, around this area and then sort of it comes back on itself to get into it so it'll probably be like a 30 minute walk at least uh, just to get around there um, but yeah, so I might be better taking the car for a bit of a, a drive around there if I want to see it. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd have a little walk along the front just here and look at some of these ferries. I mean, we've got to go and have a look at some of these uh, and also the different yachts, what there is as well. I mean, this one down here, they've just started to like clean it all up. So I thought we we're going to have a little peek. I mean, whoever owns that is a very, very rich person. And I'm a bit jealous. I wouldn't mind a yacht. I can just see it now. The Adventure Sean and Theme Park Worldwide yachts. Stopping at all these different theme parks. Can you imagine? You can dream. You're a millions though. I mean, just to own one of these smaller yachts down here would be nice, wouldn't it? Like, look at these, you just go out there and have a little sail along. It'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? Get your friends over. Yeah, you got all those nice ones down there. A bit smaller boats down at the bottom. And you pan around this way. <laughs> you got this absolutely huge yachts just here. Look at that. What a beast. <laughs> Yeah, whoever owns that is very, very rich. It looks like they're uh, doing a bit of prep work up there. I mean, I don't know if they do tours on it or not. I'm really not too sure. 
maybe it does like a tour around the area or like they have meals on it or is it privately owned i'm not too sure maybe someone watching this video knows more about it comment down below but it generally doesn't feel like i'm in the uk standing here it just feels like you're abroad and the more I've looked at the Spinnaker Tower, it makes me realise it kind of reminds me a little bit of the very famous hotel, uh, the Burj Al Arab, uh, over in Dubai, in the UAE. I mean, I've been there and there's a beach out the front here, and then you've got the huge hotel. Uh, I mean, obviously that's a lot bigger. Um, obviously this is a huge structure, but that's, that's even bigger. Um, but yeah, and that's a, a famous hotel. I think it's a seven-star hotel, that one. But yeah, it's, it's lovely, isn't it, round here? I think what the plan is, I'm gonna walk sort of around here, go around the other side now and head around towards some of these older boats that I can see around the corner. So I continue with my walk along the waterfront here in Portsmouth. Absolutely beautiful and the temperature today is lovely, about 23 degrees Celsius. And yeah, I've carried on walking around about 10 minutes from the Spinnaker Tower uh, where I've made it here to HMS Warrior, uh, which is in the historic dockyard. You've also got HMS Victory. Uh, it's a bit further down the back there as well. Um, but yeah, all this area is like closed off uh, all along here. I think you need a ticket uh, to go through and you can actually go through onto the uh, big ships just down there as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just nice to have a little look around here. I mean, I've not got all the time in the world as I probably would uh, have gone through there and had a closer look at those. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to come and see it a little bit closer up. Obviously still uh, HMS Warrior from at the top of the Spinnaker Tower as I thought I've got to come a little bit closer and have a look from here. Uh, but yeah, it's lovely. What a nice area. Uh, and just carried on walking all the way around uh, the side just here. There's the tower over there. And then you've got the huge shopping centre that runs basically all throughout this area here. Um, you've got like all the uh, Portsmouth Harbour uh, railway network there as well. And of course, you've got all the different ferries. You've got the hovercraft, which goes from somewhere around here as well. And they'll take you over to the Isle of Wight in about 10 minutes. Oh, there you go, yeah, have a little look around here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump back in the car, sort of drive a little bit further around and just try and get some more distant views, like looking over towards the tower here. Uh, a bit like what I said when I was around the corner a few minutes ago. Uh, I just want to be able to see it from more of a distance, really. Just try and park up over there, and then we'll uh, wrap up this little vlog here on Adventure Sean uh, from looking around Portsmouth and, of course, the Spinnaker Tower. So it's only actually took me about five minutes to drive round from the shopping centre here to South Sea. Uh, also right next door to Clarence Pier. Uh, the Ferris wheel is operating, I've found out, uh, but the rides aren't, as I kind of knew about. Um, but yeah, I am actually going to be back down here next month uh, to come down here uh, and do some videos for my other channel, Theme Park Worldwide, uh, so head over there to check those out. Um, but yeah, fun little fact for you. Of course, I wanted to come down here to get some views of the Spinnaker Tower from a bit further away, and you can see it just there in the distance. Uh, but also there's another reason when I was a kid my parents brought me here and took me on a hovercraft over to the Isle of Wight if I spin the camera around again and um, you'll see the Isle of Wight over there in the distance uh, but yeah they actually run a hovercraft service that takes about 10 minutes uh, that's all to get from here over to the Isle of Wight and back again and I remember it so well because I was quite young that's the last time I was actually around this area many many years ago it's gonna be at least I don't know 15 16 years ago uh, way before the tower was built and uh, yeah we came over here to get on this hovercraft and I was covered in chicken pox I was really really ill at the time Time. Um, but we still came on holiday because it was all booked and money was tight at the time and so it was like yeah we're gonna go on holiday and just hope you get better sort of thing uh, but yeah, I was covered in chicken pox and we got the hovercraft over so I'm actually gonna go and watch a hovercraft that should be leaving in about seven minutes time uh, to be precise uh, from just over here next to Clarence Pier uh, but yeah it's lovely around here what a nice area just uh, show you a little bit more there's the Spinnaker Tower in the distance I'll uh, just do a little zoom in for you so you can see that from over here. Yeah, lovely area. South Sea. All them observation decks at the top, the little garden area on the top one just there. Yeah, it's got a lot of history, this area as well. Um, and yeah, I definitely have to come back and do some videos for, uh, for this channel, Adventure Sean, as well, in the future. There's Condor Ferries moving over there. All the different cargo, what there is on there. 
but yeah there's the uh, pier itself Clarence Pier like I say just the ferris wheel operating today no roller coasters else it would have been perfect uh, for riding those today I think there's a couple of coasters over there um, both new for this year actually uh, but like I say I'll be back next month so check that out over on theme park worldwide uh, anyway before I wrap this video up I'm going to head over this way to go and watch this hovercraft and um, that should be just making its way in now from the Isle of Wight so I'm looking for it out in the distance can't seem to see it uh, but they are quite regular uh, of course people commute daily over there uh, for work and uh, and stuff so yeah i'm gonna make my way around here and let's watch this hovercraft come in uh, from on the beach here we go then so i've made it over to the hovercraft area and as you can see here we've got this board with a bit of information tell you what this is bringing back a lot of childhood memories from being around here and i tell you what i feel a lot better this time than when i was last here when i was covered in chicken box uh, but here we go so hover travel is the world's longest running commercial hovercraft service and provides the only scheduled passenger hovercraft service in europe uh, hover travel launched in 1965 and there's been 26 million passengers since so there we are there's a little uh, picture of the hovercraft on the beach obviously now it's all blocks off around here you can see you've got this wall however i believe if we go around this corner and uh, we can still get around onto the beach and next to the area uh, where they come in so we can sort of stand here uh, but there you go you can see clarence pier there with a, a different ferris wheel and a different roller coaster uh, to what operate today uh, you can see it over there in the distance there you go you've got all your different hovercraft staff here from over the years as well really fascinating isn't it there are people just walk into the back of it and yeah it takes just 10 minutes now to cross over uh absolutely incredible isn't it um so yeah, we're gonna make my way around this way and it should be coming in soon in fact i think i can see it over there in the distance let's go and have a look Seeing that hovercraft coming in again onto the beach has really made me want to actually get on one again. Uh, I actually went over to the Isle of Wight last year, uh, but we took the ferry and took our own car over. It'd be great to get on a hovercraft and it'd make a brilliant video as well. Uh, but there you go, what a day it's been. I enjoyed seeing that just, walking around the harbour of Portsmouth and of course going up the Spinnaker Tower. Uh, what a nice afternoon I've had exploring it all. Brilliant area around here, it's lovely and even better when the sun's shining. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've referenced my other channel quite a bit in this vlog more than normal uh, but go and check it out it's theme park worldwide and you can find it over on the main channel page uh, if you head over there there's links over to it uh, but there you go thanks for watching it's been a great day i've enjoyed exploring around here uh, check out many of my other videos that i've filmed so far this year i did a big trip to new york back in january uh, over in the us uh, i've also done videos around london a few months back and a lot more to come from the uk as we make our way back towards uh, the autumn and winter i'm going to be doing lots more of like christmas markets and stuff this year uh, so stay tuned for those i'm sean sandbrook and that leaves me with one more thing to say get out there and have your own adventures see you real soon